Dean Carnassus is an ultra marathoner with hundreds of marathons under his belt, plus a host of other worldwide titles. Now he's teaming up with Chicken Soup for the Soul for a running edition of the book. Good morning, Dean. So you started running when most people do as a kid, but before you ran this marathon, I hear you didn't run for 15 years. So what prompted you to go from zero to 60 with running? <laughs> Bad tequila. Because literally, I, uh, I ran competitively when I was a kid, and I ran when I was in high school, and then I quit running altogether. And then I was in a bar uh, in San Francisco on my 30th birthday, doing what most guys do on their 30th birthday. And it's, I decided that night that I wasn't going to have another round of tequila to celebrate my 30th birthday. I was going to run 30 miles instead. So I walked out of the bar uh, drunk at midnight and stumbled through the night 30 miles and changed my life. <laughs> Wow, that is a very healthy way to celebrate your birthday. And I hear you've run hundreds of marathons across the globe. Do you have a favorite? Chicago, of course. <laughs> That's what we want to hear here. <laughs> uh, I've, I've uh, run Chicago probably 10 times, and it is one of my favorites, honestly. Um, one of the reasons being I'm 100% Greek, and it goes right through Greek town. So I have a lot of uh, friends and family that come out and cheer for me. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I'm one of the spectators that likes to give high fives when people are running marathons. What does that do for the energy of the runners? Does it really help you guys? So much. I, when you said that, I thought, wow, I, I, I love this, this woman. Thank you so much for doing that. It, it, you cannot, I cannot tell you how much that boosts a runner's morale to have someone cheering. And I hope it, I hope it gives you a little bit of a lift as well, but it is so nice that you do that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm just so impressed with you guys. So for someone who has never even run a 5K like myself or other people that dream of running a marathon, what tips do you have for them to kind of push past their boundaries? Uh, you know, that's a good segue. I would buy a copy of uh, Running for Good, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Running for Good. Uh, in there, there's motivational tips. There's um, stories that, will, that are endearing, things that will give you inspiration to start running. But I would say start by getting a good pair of shoes, uh, invest in a good pair of shoes and start by trying to run or walk for just one minute. I know that sounds very short for us runners, like one minute, come on. But when you're just starting out, it's very difficult. So just try running for one minute. If you can make it one continuous minute, try, try three minutes and then five minutes. So work your way up with baby steps. Yeah, it's all about the baby steps. I'm good with those for now, so we'll see how far I get. Um, I know the same time that you started kind of running, you also began reading more. Tell us about what made you want to, you know, write this book and how you think it'll motivate people. Well, this is my second book collaboration with the Chicken Soup for the Soul group. And what it is, it's 101 independent stories by 101 different contributors. And not all of them are extreme marathoners like me. A lot of them are just people that are trying to walk their first 5K. So it's every uh, age and every ability. And I just thought it was the greatest book ever. I mean, I, my books are about some guy running, you know, 100 miles off in the wilderness. These books are very approachable to the everyday person. And, and that's what I love about this series. Love it. Well, it sounds so good. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. Chicken Soup for the Soul for Runners is now available on Amazon.